KATC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. The only good thing about the summertime weather sticking around is it gives you more of an opportunity to use that pool. And I know a lot of people at my apartment complex were outside at the pool this afternoon trying to stay cool during this summertime heat as we made it into the lower 90s. And that trend is going to continue at least for the next several days as we go into the new work week. But maybe by the end of the week, we finally could see some relief at the end of the tunnel and might feel a little bit like fall. But let's take a look at our water vapor and kind of show you why we're continuing to see that summertime heat. So we got Hurricane Maria that's making its way over in the the Atlantic Ocean that's riding up to the north along the east coast. We also have a little area of low pressure here just to the east of us, and that's helping to bring a little extra clouds and a few stray showers today, but that'll increase the shower activity as you see more of that moisture off to our east. That'll slide a little bit closer to us as we go throughout our Monday and Tuesday, increasing our rain chances. But the main reason is we have this high up in the northeast, and that's kind of keeping this summer-like conditions locked in over the region, allowing that warm air off the Gulf of Mexico to move in. But we're waiting for this trough over the western portion of the country to slide over and finally bring us some of that cool Canadian air, but it's going to take a little bit. As you can see, it's still moving more south to north. It's not really sliding more off to the east, so it won't be until about Thursday before we finally see that trough make its way through and bring us that air of um, pleasant cool and slightly drier air into our region as we go into Thursday and Friday. And you can see the showers with that cold front continue to be back through the Great Plains. And that's where it's going to be situated over the next 48 hours or so before it finally starts to make its way down towards us. But you can see we continue to see some of those pop up showers as we went throughout the afternoon. And again, maybe 20, 30 percent of Acadiana saw a few of those passing showers as we went throughout our Sunday. But you can see now as we push into the evening hours, a lot of this activity is beginning to die and it will continue to as we go through the rest of the evening, and especially once the sun goes down, and we kind of lose the heating of the day. But we do have one storm left over Vermilion Parish, but otherwise most of Acadiana is dry. But we do have some clouds making their way through, and those should also begin to clear out as we go through the rest of this evening. So taking a look through the rest of tonight, clear skies, quiet conditions, waking up to some sun tomorrow, but quickly the clouds roll over top the area. So we're going to have more clouds throughout our day on Monday, and that should maybe help keep temperatures in the upper 80s, maybe briefly getting to 90 degrees. And then as we go into the afternoon, one or two stray showers. But I think the models may be underdoing this. I think we have maybe a slightly better chance to see a few more pop-up showers as we go throughout our Monday afternoon. But those quickly fade as we go into the overnight hours, waking up Tuesday dry, but then very similar as we continue to be in this summer-like pattern. Clouds develop by the afternoon with one or two stray showers possible as we head towards 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then things begin to dry out. And then we continue to do this pattern as we go into our Wednesday. But we finally do start to see that front getting a little bit closer to us. And it won't be until about Thursday that we finally see that make its way through. It doesn't look to have a whole lot of moisture with it, but it will bring us the drier air and some cooler temperatures as we head into the second half of the work week. Checking in on Hurricane Maria, still looking like a defined eye. So but it is beginning to weaken a little bit, so that is the good news. Some of the outer bands starting to make their way towards the coast of the Carolinas. We can see winds right now at 105 miles per hour, so making it a Category 2 storm. But you do see a little bit of it is beginning to break apart on the north side, and that's helping to weaken it. And as it continues to ride up to the north at 9 miles per hour, it'll slowly weaken to a Category 1 hurricane as we go into Tuesday. Still a Category 1 hurricane Wednesday afternoon, and then it will slide off to the east as that cold front moves through. Tropical storm watches and storm storm watches now up along the Carolina coast as it will make a pretty close call as it rides up to the area. And so this is the European model kind of depicting of what we're looking at over the coming days. So you can see by Tuesday afternoon, it's pretty close to the off coastal regions of North Carolina, and then it's going to kind of sit there for a solid day. So it will bring some very gusty conditions, some rainfall along the coastal conditions, especially around the outer banks of North Carolina as we go throughout Tuesday and Wednesday and along with those gusty winds and some rough seas. But then as we go into Thursday and Friday, there's that front making its way through the east coast, helping to slide that system out to the east. And so it shouldn't be a problem as it goes up the east coast. And then as that front continues to make its way into our area, that's when we'll bring that drier and cool air and start to feel a little bit like fall as we head into Friday and then in by next week. And so temperatures will quickly fall this evening once the sun goes down around 7 o'clock, setting up a comfortable evening. Decreasing clouds as well as we go through the overnight hours, a low of 71, but outlying communities should get into the upper 60s again. More clouds than sun for our Monday, but still humid and hot, a high of 90 degrees with that 30% chance for some isolated showers. Staying warm, as I mentioned, all the way through Thursday, and Thursday could be quite warm at that at 95.
85 degrees, but then that drop off behind the front, 88 degrees as we head into Friday. Next weekend is looking fantastic, so start making the plans to get outside right now. Temperatures in the mid 80, relatively low humidity. Low rain chances, but a little better rain chance as we go into the following week. Looking good there towards the end of next week. I, I'm for this definitely looking week. forward to it. All right, thanks, Eric. Still to come on Acadiana's news channel at 